Hello Whovians and welcome to WhoTube Gallifrey 2 and a brand new video. In this video I will be counting down my top 10 10th Doctor episodes as played by David Tennant. So, before I start this countdown, IP Productions has a question for me and they ask, have you ever been to a Doctor Who filming location and if so, where? The answer is yes, I have been to a Doctor Who filming location when I visited Cardiff Bay in 2015. For example, I visited Millennium Square, where Vincent and the Doctor was filmed, Boomtown, episodes of Torchwood, Time Heist. I also visited Eddie's Diner, where the Impossible Astronaut and Hell Bent was filmed, amongst many locations around Cardiff Bay and Cardiff as a whole. So, starting this list at number 5, and we do have The End of Time. So The End of Time is a brilliant swan song for the 10th Doctor. You see his past companions, you see his past villains, and overall this is a magnificent swan song for the Doctor and is probably my favourite Doctor departure story. So there's perfect acting from David Tennant in this story. You really see his Doctor go higher than he's ever been to before to the, his low point. And yeah, such a sad send off to David Tennant with the music and visual effects in his final scene. Really like the farewell tour the Doctor did a lot better than the 12th Doctor's farewell tour where his companions were just there. He actually visited them, the 10th Doctor, and I thought that was really touching and really brilliant. Now at number four, we do have Army of Ghosts and Doomsday. Now this is the series 2 finale of Doctor Who, and we see a war between the Cybermen and the Daleks in this story. Now I think this is such a cool plot. The visual effects in this are stunning, the drama in it is stunning, it has so much action, but it's also got a high level of drama and emotion in this story and I just think it's a really good mix. The scene on the beach is not my favourite scene in Doctor Who like a lot of people's but it's a really good touching scene and yeah filming location stunning see a lot of past Doctor Who characters who appeared amongst series 2 return of this story such as Jake and Pete Tyler and yeah brilliant Doctor Who story. Now at number 3 we do have the Stolen Earth dash Journey's End. Now this was basically like the Infinity War of Doctor Who, as we saw so many companions return to this story, we saw an evil threat of Davros, and yeah, finally see Davros in the modern era. David Tennant's acting is great in this as well, amongst the companions, Captain Jack's in this story, and yeah, really good portrayal of David Tennant, not only as the Doctor, but as the Double Doctor. So yeah. Moving on to my number two spot, and we do have Blink. Now, Blink is probably my favourite story from the David Tennant era, but it would be a bit unfair to put it at number one, as David Tennant hardly appears in this story. But, the plot in this story is great. The Doctor is still a key plot device, unlike, well, there's not really any episodes where the Doctor isn't a key plot device, but this episode has a fantastic guest cast, Introduction to the Weeping Angels, who are brilliant in this story, and yeah, it's that Stephen Moffat at his best before he wrote The Beast Below, Hellbent, Twice Upon Time. This is when Stephen Moffat had ideas, but he clearly ran out of them. So, at number one, we do have my favourite David Tennant episode, and this is Fear Her. Now, Fear Her is brilliant. Only joking, my favourite Doctor Who story featuring David Tennant is Loving Monsters. Yes, Loving Monsters comes in at number one. Oh, I'm thinking my worst David Tennant stories. My favourite Doctor Who story featuring David Tennant is The Waters of Mars. Yes, The Waters of Mars comes in at number one on this list due to the fact that David Tennant is fantastic in this story. The setting is amazing, the monsters are amazing, the guest stars are amazing, the music is amazing, amazing, the visual effects are amazing, everything about this story is amazing. Written by Phil Ford and Russell T Davis. Why don't they hire Phil Ford again for Doctor Who? They did, but he wrote Into the Dalek, which wasn't fantastic. But anyway, this, this special was superb. I absolutely loved this Doctor Who story. 
really good sitting on Mars. David Hare has some fantastic acting, some fantastic emotional dialogue, some emotional moments amongst action and light-hearted moments. This is such a good dynamic and it is my favourite David Tennant story and one of my favourite Doctor Who stories as a whole. But there are a few honourable mentions before I end this list, such as Rise of the Cybermen Lash Age of Steel, the first Cyberman story of the modern era, Planet of the Dead, the 2009 Spring Special, Turn Left, an episode where the Doctor never existed, the Doctor died, there is Voyage of the Dam, the 2008 Christmas Special, the Titanic in Space, what a Doctor Who idea. And then, finally, we do have Utopia, The Sound of Drums, and Last of the Time Worlds, which sees the return of the Master. So that is the end of this list, and until the next time, goodbye!